this week's vlog it's Wednesday I was trying to find a way to vlog with my camera up on my windshield but it wasn't working like the top of my head is cut off I just set it up I got my hair in a little bun and I got my hat on it's raining today I just set my camera on my dashboard because it's easier to sit and talk to you guys that way until I'm able to figure out how to get it up onto a window there. I'm gonna put it back up there. I hope you guys will be able to see me. But I'm about to go to a gas station because I need some gas. Now let me start my car. I just got done at Walmart. Not bad. Like I was in there for 24 minutes. So got everything I need. I'm gonna go to the gas station. I got my nieces and Valentine's items. I got them two unicorns. One is purple and one is white. They got these cute little Valentine's Day headbands. I'm gonna do that before it starts getting busy out here because tomorrow I just only wanna go to the gym and then record my videos. I have some YouTube videos I wanna record, probably two TikToks. My plan is to get up early, hit the gym, come back, record my two TikToks and then leave. And then I already have my outfit of the day picture are ready to post for Friday. Super Bowl is actually coming up next weekend. Like who are you guys voting for to win Super Bowl? Between the Rams and the Bengals. For those of you who are football fans, like who do you want to win? I was watching the game last weekend and it was a really good game. I have some pocky sticks. Like these are super good y'all. I have not been doing much. I just honestly have been working things behind the scenes on my end, just things that I want to achieve and goals. And that sort of thing so that's pretty much all i have been doing and going to the gym oh i have been slacking on youtube with my content but i have more videos on the way you now there have been like a lot of people who have been you know down and out about their mental health and i think it's very important make sure your mental health is at your top priority not just your like medical and dental but just things that i have been you know seeing on like social media and hearing about tv and that sort of thing in the news or what have you you never know what someone's going through so i think you should always be kind to everyone that you encounter and if you're having a bad day and for some reason you can't be kind to that person that you're with or interacting with just just leave them alone just don't say anything just being just a kind person overall like i know everyone goes through things but i think if you're having a bad day just leave the next person alone if you're gonna say something mean but uh, don't say anything just walk away i think walking away is the best thing 
then you can't be nice to someone because you don't know what that other person is going through whether they're smiling on the outside or they may be really hurting on the inside so um just be mindful of that when you're um you know interacting with people on your day-to-day -day basis a road rager behind me y'all I don't want him behind me, so I'm gonna switch lanes. This is a movie. I think it's on Amazon Prime Video. It's called Unhinged. Like you guys should watch that. It's really good. Like not scary. It's a suspenseful movie, kind of about like road rage and people who get mad. It's really good. Like y'all should watch it. It makes you mindful of how you honk your horn at people because some people are just road rage people, and you know are crazy. So you have to be careful with driving and everything and I need to get over so I'm gonna switch on over so I don't turn up here. It, I try to do everything I can in like one I need my card, so let me drive up a little bit. Oh, let me get my mask. I hope y'all can see me get gas. I don't know if y'all can see through my window, but I'll leave the camera on. Let me get my. Oh, this key. key. I have my gloves in here that I like to use. So. Wipe this stuff off. I got my gas. Now I just got a postal box. I'm gonna go ahead and go so I will see y'all later Thursday. Today is my mom's birthday. Just got done from coming back from the gym here at the gas station about to get some gas. My mom a card. I got her, what else is here? I got her a birthday gift. I got her some flowers and I got her a cake. We're gonna sing happy birthday later and then I don't know we may go to the movies or something right now. What's going on? Mm, four o'clock, 15 minutes to four. Let me know like how much you guys are paying for gas right now because mine i think ours is like four dollars or something four dollars and some change so i heard in like some other states it's like six and nine dollars and that is like ridiculous i think it's sad to be have like jealousy towards you know other people and just be like i don't know like so so consumed with being jealous of another person that you just treat that person like extremely mean and extremely rude i think it's sad that people have you know so such a low self-esteem where they have to betray rudeness and jealousy towards other people like i i feel like if you have to do that you should focus on building your confidence and um building up your self self-esteem so that you don't become one of those people and tear down another person because again you never know what someone else is going through and it's terrible for you to portray your jealousy and negativity onto others just because you feel insecure about yourself so that being said if you have someone who's doing that to you just have a good day like don't let that get to you because people that's just how people are going to be 
you can't change other people, can't worry about other people, can't, you know, expect other people to behave a certain way because that will never happen. So you just have to, you know, live your life, stay happy, stay positive, and focus on yourself and your goals and your dreams and what you want to do to better yourself. So with that being said, oh, I forgot my card. I just want to share with you guys, like if you have people doing that to you, don't let that stuff get to you. It's that's them that's their karma that's stuff they have to deal with so let me put this on um Poshmark account and I have been getting like weird order transactions like people who don't want to pay for the stuff like if you're not able to afford it at the time don't buy it <laughs> point blank simple because if you if I see that you bought the item and then you request a refund from Poshmark, um, Oculus, on my Poshmark, I won't be selling anything else to you. Um, I won't be contacting, having any sort of contact with you. And I don't like to be mean like that, but I list specifically what's wrong or if anything is wrong with the item on the Poshmark, just don't have time for those types of games. So either you wanna buy it or you don't. If you don't, leave it there for someone else. If you do, then purchase it. The item's yours. Stay